Libra, 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 my lovely Libras. So I am really happy to be here today talking to the Libras. Uh, it's always good to talk to signs that you are familiar with. And I am familiar with the Libra. I have quite a few Libras in my life. Uh, and I'm very familiar with the Libra from the standpoint of family and friends and, and kind of things like that. Um, Libra, the lovely Libras, great sign. Uh, they're a mental sign, air sign. So hello to all the Libras out there. I'm glad you guys decided to join me. I'm not going to go into a long intro for this video. I want to kind of keep the video time sensitive. I'm going to try to keep it to about a half an hour. I know last night's verbal video was about an hour. I'm not going to try to do that tonight. I want to keep it really to the point and simple. I, I can't touch on everybody's situation because these are just general readings. There are um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who watch um, the YouTube videos and YouTube readings. Um, some months one reader may hit for you another month another reader may hit for you. I know I have specific readers besides myself that I watch just from diff just for different takes, views, thoughts, and energies on situations or whatever's going on in your day-to-day -day life. And sometimes even readers that I really, really like, there are some readers that pretty much hit for me all the time. But then there are even some readers that uh, I really, really like and sometimes they don't hit for me for a specific month. So with tarot readings, it's not really that hard because you know what resonates with you and you know what doesn't. So, you know, you kind of get your group of tarot readers together and hopefully they have some messages that really do pertain to you. So, again, I'm happy to be doing this video for Libra. Libra is going to be the second sign that I'm going to do like a full Celtic cross reading for on here um i just wanted to give you guys a little bit more than the three or four cards even though to be really really honest the three or four cards are good i mean they tell me a lot i can see a lot with those three four card readings but in any event i like the celtic cross because it, it just breaks down certain areas of your life and it gets really specific i just gotta get some sage going i'm out of sage so i'm just gonna try to burn wherever i can <laughs> get whatever I can. I just need some sage to clear the air. That's definitely a ritual ritual for my reading. So, and I've been dealing with sage long before these readings. So, now that we got some sage in the air, I'm just going to talk to you for a few minutes, Libra. Um, Astral Talk World Series, check back for that later this month. That's going to come back. Um, hit, hit up my website at Astro Tarot C, the C as in the ocean. Uh, dot weebly dot com if you guys want a personal reading or you want something more in depth you heard something that kind of touched you or made sense to you or resonated with you and you have um, additional questions or you need some additional guidance additional help additional advice I'm just really a good advice person just a really good person to talk to outside of all the tarot and everything like that so, if you guys um, want anything like that, hit up my website and take a look at the services and the products that I offer. And um, other than that, just check me out on YouTube. So, I'm about ready to get started with Libra's reading. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to shuffle the cards a little bit more. But anyway, Libra's air signs, very um, mentally smart people. Libras, they are, and the one thing that I've always said about Libra, like I said, I have very close um, family that are Libras, and quite a few, and the one thing I always say about Libra, like, I don't care how mean they might get, how evil they might get, they have, like, the most beautiful heart, and that is something that is, they, they have a lot of love in their hearts, and it's something that is really, really true about Libra, you know what I mean, um, they, if you can get past some of the things, like, sometimes, and it depends, because, like I said on my Virgo video, video yesterday, and like I say on a lot of videos, every sign has a shadow sign, there are positive and ne negative aspects to every sign, but I find that, um, Libra, of course, they're the sign of fairness and balance, they, uh, take up for other people who can't defend themselves, um, they really want to see everybody get along, everything goes smoothly, they don't want any confrontation, and they don't want to hurt your feelings, um, but they're a mental card, and mental cards 
are uh, quick and sharp with words and actions. So they will if they had to. You know what I mean? But they don't want to. So I always say, you know, Libras, they, they, you know, they have beautiful hearts. And that's something I definitely know to be true about Libras. So I'm really, really uh, good people. Smart. Uh, dependable when they want to be on their own time. <laughs> Maybe not dependable. Maybe that wasn't a good one to uh, use for Libra. But they come through in a clinch. Like I said, they stick up for their friends. Um, and they, they're, they've always been there for their friends. And that's something I, I definitely know about Libra. Ruled by Venus. Loves luxury. Nice things. Fabulous things. Libra loves to showboat. Um, and let's take a look at some Libras. Libras like to be um, a lot of Libras. It's not everybody. I mean, you could have planets and charts. You could be heavy in other signs in your chart. Heavy, heavy in water. Heavy in uh, fire or heavy in uh, the earth. But just taking a look at some of the Libras. I didn't realize so many people were Libras. I think this is like the year or the season of the Libras because they are coming up. I didn't know so many people were Libras. So you got, um, and Geminis too, like with Prince passing and a lot of stuff like that. And, and um, Biggie's birthday just passing by. Sorry guys if you don't listen to Hip Hop Rant. But like with those kind of things, I just realized a lot of freaking people are Geminis too. But back to Libra because this is about you. So, uh, Lil Wayne, T.I., uh, one of my favorite favorites. And, and it's funny, I can't even say he's my favorite rapper, but he has one of my favorite personalities. Like I actually, he's, like I like him as a person. You know what I mean? Trick Daddy, Libra. And I didn't even know that. And um, Kim Kardashian, Libra. Uh, so Libras, you're amongst them, my good company. So anyway, Libras, I think this is about ready. Let's get to this reading. So we're going to do Celtic Cross, just general energy, general readings. I'm going to try to be brief, keep it short, not go into too much detail about every little thing. And then, um, we'll do a mini love reading. Now, my video, my computer froze yesterday when I uploaded Virgo, so they missed the mini reading at the end, but if anybody is watching this um, that happened to look at the Virgo, I'm going to fix that in a few, and you guys should be able to see that whole video because the words are running behind the picture. So, sorry about that. Libra, I will make sure that does not happen to your video. Uh, let's give it one more shake. One more shuffle. Couple more shuffles. Hang a little tired. I don't want to see your cards, Libra. I'm not taking no flip outs. None of double flip outs. None came out before. I did drop a card or two, so they're going back in. And if they come out in the spread, then they were meant to be. All right, Libra, let's get it so we can make this video timely. All right. What you got for Libra? Spirit, energy, earth universe, creator, what is there for Libra, just to give Libra some guidance for June, so Libra, let's see what is going on with you for June, so the first card out that's going to rep represent the overall, you, you and the overall energy is going to be the world, awesome Libra. Somehow I knew for Libras this year, or for the rest of this year at least, the card that's going to cross that is the Five of Cups. What's on your mind, what's above you is the full, it's the full reverse. What's below you, what you have and your power to call your own that you can use for you is um, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, what's in your past, the energy that you're moving away from uh, is going to be the Devil in reverse. That's the energy that you're moving away from. Your present and the energy that's coming up and the energy that you're coming into is going to be the Six of Wands. Oh, go, 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 Libra. Six of Wands. Um, you, how you see yourself um, right about now is going to be the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, how others see you and your, in your environment and your surroundings is going to be the Seven of Swords. Your hopes and your fears. 
Just move this up. Cause I got all mixed up on Virgo yesterday for moving my cards. So so that I don't mess up. Your press, present, and below. I'll leave this like this. I'm not going to move it too far over. Your hopes and fears in the ninth position is going to be that Ace of Wands um, in reverse. And then your possible outcome, likely outcome, is going to be the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay. So Libra. Even though some of these cards are in reverse, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cards in reverse. For some fucking reason, like Libra, I'm telling you, I've just been hearing good, good energy, good things coming up for Libra is what I have been hearing. And I don't like to sit my cards on the table, so let's just do that. Ooh, I burnt myself Libra Deadhead. So let's just, maybe it doesn't want me to sit it there. Sit it there. Oh, I don't want these cards to, all righty. So Libra, I'm going to sit it there, and I'm going to get a better spread, and I'm going to, oh, I'm pinky. All righty, so Libra, the first card that came out of the gate was the World card. And this um, represents the present energy, um, what's going on with you right now, just, just the, the energy surrounding you. And getting the world card, let me tell you, to have this energy is um, absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the number um, 21. I believe this is the last card in the major arcana. So it's a major arcana card. And, and while we're right here, Libra, let me just say that you have three major arcana cards. So there are ten cards on the table, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven with the bottom of the deck. You have three major arcana, and the three major arcana that came out for you are meaningful major arcana that fit right into this reading. And then everything else is like your minor arc arcana in your day-to-day, -day, but it gives a good picture about what's going on with your life and what is going on with you overall before we even really get into it is I see just um, getting over some hurts, some, some past hurts, some uh, past emotions, moving on, realizing that anything you want, you can have. Happiness is yours to have. It's not a, a front you have to wear on the outside. It is not a mask you have to put on for people. You will, you can be, and you will be truly happy from deep down inside out. So whatever hurts and pains that you've been through in the past, you know, you, you're, you're going to overcome those things, Libra, and you've been putting in the work slowly but surely, but maybe June is finally a month where you're going to see um, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, as I like to say, when somebody is finally seeing a break in, a breakthrough in the clouds and the sun shining through. So for Libra, with the world being that, um, situ that, that, old, that energy card, that you card, that overall situation card, it just means that anything is out there for the taking. I'm not going to spend years on the world because, you know, sometimes in this reading I try to dig into, like I said on Virgo yesterday, I try to hit a lot of different people because different people watch the reading. So different situations can be found in the cards for, for different people. You know, different meanings can be found in the card for different situations. So a lot of times I'll try to cover, like, whatever I possibly can pull out for the many different people who watch. But I'm going to keep it really simple with the world because no matter what Libra you are, no matter what's in your chart and what's going on, everything, life is being handed to you on a silver platter. Anything that you um, ever wanted to conquer, you ever wanted to see, whether it is um, the unknown, the scary unknown of the world, or the beautiful things of the world, it is your um, territory to chart. It is your territory to explore. Um, and, and really with the world, you have worked. I mean, when you get to the world card, theoretically, you know, you have your minor arcana, so you have the suits of the pages. Uh, I mean, not the pages, the suits of the fire sign, the suits of the air sign, your sign, uh, the suits of the water sign, and the suits of the, the, the pinnacle signs, the earth signs. So once you make it through the stages and the phases and you get through the minor arcana, you know, the world is really what caps it off. So if you ever really take a look at the story that is told by the tarot cards, after the fool begins, well, when the fool begins his journey through the major arcana.
So the Fool starts the major arcana. He's the zero card. So it goes from the Fool to the um, High Priestess to the Empress, um, which four guys, like to the High Friend, and so on and so on. I may be wrong at the three. So the Fool starts this journey. When the Fool completes his journey, he's off of the world. The world is his. It's like when you get to that final level of Super Mario Brothers, because I'm an 80s, 90s child, when you get, and that's just my favorite video game of all time. I play it all day, like nowadays. Not those war games, but Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers. But, like, back in the day when you would get to the end of those type of video games, it's like you unlock the world. Like, I can't even remember each ending to all of the Super Marios, because we played them and beat them all religiously. But, my brothers, but... You, do you, like, recall when he gets to the end, it's, like, either a wall part or he runs on a different um, version. He runs from, like, one end of the screen to the princess, and it's, like, this blue sky in the background. It's, like, everything opens up for the fool when he gets to the world. He's learned about, um, he's learned, he's been educated, he's been given wisdom, he's been given knowledge, he's, um, been shown self-control, self-restraint, um, self uh, lust, um, he's been through death, he's been through transformation, he's been through bondage, he's been through changes, and when he gets to that final stage, he has beat the game, and the world opens up for him. So, Libra, don't take with you, if you take nothing else from this reading, take with you that that's where you are at, and, and with what really will make the difference between success and failure, which always does in any case, and success is not measured by money or material things. When I say success and failure, I mean whatever successful to you in your life to be happy. That is the measure of success. Failure is whatever you're doing that you're not happy with or what doesn't make you happy and you're not happy with your life. That's the definition of failure. The only difference a lot of times between failure and success is perception and being able to see that the glass, like I told Virgo, the glass is half full. It's not half empty. Everything you've been through is not for anything because it's all right there for you on a silver platter. I'm going to move on on this video. It's going to be an hour or more. So then what crosses that? So what might make that difficult? What might bring obstacles or help um, into that situation with the world and that really being at your feet and you really being on the brink of just having everything that you wanted no matter no matter how far you thought you were from that or how much you thought that wasn't going to happen trust me with the world world card is there for you so what crosses you is the five of cups so the five of cups is a water card it's an emotional card and five um always represent um some type of change and transition and some type type of i don't want to say difficulty and not difficulty because when, when you have fours for stability, you know, you, you start off with one block, it is um, a starting point, it's a one, it's um, individualism, two, it's partnership, uh, choices, decisions, balance is a two, three is um, a manifesting, uh, manifesting, it's, it's an unbalanced to get balanced, which is when you move into the four, and then when you talk about a five, you're coming from a balanced state, which is a four, and you're going through some changes and you're going through maybe some some a little difficulty with the five to get to back to a stable um, place, which is a six. So in, in a moving on place, which is a six. So with a five, it sh the, the card does show some emotional difficulty. It does show some emotional strife, as as if feeling like um, something was lost or something that you had, something that you had is no longer there or it's no longer accessible to you or you no longer have it and you're very sad. I mean, the black cloak on this guy, the card isn't necessarily a terrible looking card. Yeah, it's a great card. It's not the brightest or the funnest card, but it's hope in the card. That's why you don't see that the card is black or it's like really dark gray and, and fighting or blood. You don't see that. Well, you do see a little blood spill from the cup. So, like I said, when you look at what he's looking at and that black cloak on him, it's a depression. It is really being in a sad state uh, from past hurts that you've been through. The blood is spilled on the ground. So, um, fights with people, arguments, could be literal blood being shed, uh, losses, just emotional losses, whatever it was. It wasn't something that didn't affect you on a deep level. The, 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 the 
length and the darkness of his cloak just shows you everything that's inside of this um, person that he's covering up, um, you know, hurts and pains. And he's looking and he only can see, he is only focused on, he is only thinking about, he is only emotionally dwelling on what he has lost, the blood that has been shed, what he no longer has, but what he doesn't see is that it is a river. He won't even really look up to see the river. You know what I mean? What he doesn't see is there is a house back there, there is a river, and there are two big cups behind him. One is really all you need for a start, but two um, signifies having um, more than what is needed. More than what is needed. And, and what the Five of Cups has to realize is you can take those two cups and make them three, six, ten. And those three that you lost, if you just look up and turn around, you'll realize it was nothing. It was nothing like those other two cups are going to be in that future is going to be. So if you're dwelling over the past, if you're dwelling over hurt, if you're dwelling over pain, and I know it has to do with the past because the five is pointing towards the devil. It's facing the devil, and the devil is in the past, and it does signify um, bondages, addictions to people, to things, to situations, to emotions, to feelings. Addictions to negative energies that you won't let go, and the only thing that's keeping you bonded is yourself. And the power that you give that spirit or that energy. So, um, and it's in reverse. So, so I know that you're making the chains and you just want to drop out of, you're breaking the chains, you just want to drop out of the, the devil's possession. You just want to fall from the sky back onto um, solid ground, back onto earth. So, with this five pointing towards the devil, those hurts, those pains, and those emotional losses have a lot to do with this devil card that sits in your past position. So, it represents the past Libra. And um, the devil, <laughs> the devil, <laughs> it represents your past Libra. So when you look at the devil card, you see a, a spiritual, a spirit figure up there, an uh, entity, which represents a devil, and you see two people. But when you really look at the card, you know, there's, the chains aren't tight. There is nothing that is really keeping the, um, uh, these two people, which look like a, it's a man and a woman on the card, bound to the devil, um, but themselves, but their um, inability to wake from this fog and just simply take the chains from over their head, and, and it's really all they have to do, and like I said, with the devil in reverse, you know, if they don't do that, if you look, there's, the devil is like holding a torch, and the torch has kind of caught fire on the male's tail. Now, the female's tail has like a bush with berries in it. So it tells me this place that you're in is not all desolate. There is some fruitfulness there. There is a, 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 there's an out. There's a door. And um, don't let anybody, because that fire's kind of coming down and burning the one's tail and the other is kind of just chilling. She's got some stuff. She looks like she's kind of okay being there, but his ass is on fire. You know, don't let anybody keep you in bound situations. It's very important to say to Libra, um, you really don't owe anybody anything. And now is the time. Well, if you owe somebody something, you know who those people are. But whatever's keeping you tied to the situation, you really don't owe anybody anything. And um, it's time for Libra to be happy. And that really should be the utmost and most important thing in your life. I know Libra, especially right now, especially right now, um, I know Libra is a sign that likes to keep people happy. It doesn't like to disappoint. Um, it will entertain or say in things for the, for the need not to disappoint. But um, there's nothing wrong with um, disappointments and hurt if you truly aren't happy or you know it's for the best. If you are do, making righteous, righteous decisions for yourself and the people that you're involved in or your family that you're involved um, with. So with those bonded situations, do not let anybody keep you in a bonded situation if you don't want to be in. Don't let anybody convince you that it's something you want to do or participate in. And because the cups are pointing that way and there's a man and a woman on this card, you know, it, 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 it's speaking to relationship-wise to me. So either it was in a love relationship or um, a familial, a family relationship. But don't let anybody keep you in a bondage state. So if someone, um, if there's addictions to sex, to, to, to a, 
person or to a thing or a thought pattern or emotion or an ideal that can really be the devil i think that addiction to an ideal or an ideal can be the devil within itself um that can be a a, a really a, a that can be a way of thinking that traps you you know see people and see things for who they are and sometimes you got to go further than um the logical Further than the mental, because the Gemini's, the Libra, and Aquarius, you guys are very mental signs. With that element of action as well. With some elements of fire. You're very um, mental signs, and you will try to think things through and think it through. Which I can understand, because on the other end of the spectrum, I'm an emotional sign. And I will try to process things emotional, emotionally. But there are times where you got to put that shit behind you and say, i got to bring some, like for me, i got to bring some logic into the situation. Because... There's pieces missing to this puzzle that emotion isn't quite hitting it. Libra, sometimes you're going to say, fuck it with the mental shit. Sometimes fuck it trying to make decisions. Fuck it trying to weigh options. Pull some emotion into it and do what you feel in your heart. You can never go wrong. Especially if you're doing it from a righteous perspective. Not a, um, not coming from an evil place or a place of malice. You know, and I, I carry that with me. Like, if I make my decision from a righteous place, I'm starting to understand because I've always had a hard time making choices. So I can definitely understand the Libra's burden um, with choices and decisions. I've always, I need, like, a professional choice maker. That would be nice. So who intuitively knew what I needed and could, like, make those things for me. I don't have a problem making choices for other people. But just for me, I'm like, no, I don't want to do the wrong thing because I can never go back and blah, blah, blah. But, you know what I mean, just, um, I can understand the difficulty in making choices, but if you, I'm starting to understand that if they're made from a righteous place, whatever happens is meant to happen, even if they're made from a negative place, whatever happens is, is meant to happen, and you'll learn the lessons accordingly, because um, what you can really leave, um, you can really leave your problems in karma's hands. You can really leave your worries, your thoughts, and your concerns in karma's hands. So I'm moving on away from the past. Oh, Libra. I skipped around. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't usually do these Celtic readings on camera. So I'm, I'm trying to stay with it. But that was your past. But I'm going to go see what you have on your mind. Because I was supposed to read it three as a, what's on your mind, what's the mental state, then what you have, what you're armed with, and then go to your past. But I'll just tie it back to your past. So what's on your mind right now? You have the fool in reverse. So, the Fool in Reverse, the Fool is a beautiful card. And I never, you know, first getting into the tarot, I didn't understand why people were like, oh, I like the Fool. I really like the Fool card. Like, I don't see what's so great about the Fool. He looks like he's about to walk off the cliff and he's in La La Land. But the beauty, the beauty is, um, if the Fool keeps stepping, there's another ledge to kind of catch him. He's not going to fall into the abyss. But it is the spirit that is within him that's just like, I don't care. I know God's got me. And even the dog, the dog represents spirit. It's like man's best friend in spirit. That is his, um, you know how you watch Lord of the Rings and things like that, and they have spirit animals and totems and things like that? That is um, the protector. You know, the fool, he is, he has a rose in his hand, the sun is shining, the water is back there, there's green on that ground to represent fruitfulness. And it's blue in the background, along with some white as well. So it just means everything is crystal clear. The fool is unbothered. He is unworried. Yes, there may be an air of naivety. But when you trust, like I just said about being righteous, when you trust in something higher than yourself, when you trust your spiritual guides, when you trust that um, the things you do, you have put good karma out into the world, so that's going to come back to you. When you trust that, you can walk through life like this and know, you know, you're going to get the best from the universe because you're putting out the best. So with the full in reverse, just having things on your mind, you want to be free. You want to do all the things that you've been telling yourself you want to do. Any um, things that have been uh, on your to-do list or anything that you, any part of the world you want to explore, anywhere you want to go any journey you want to do, especially with that world card, do it, Libra. Do it. Just with it being in reverse, don't be too naive um, with people. 
and things like that. Like, just be careful with, with some of the people that you deal with. Don't be too naive because, of course, you can't trust everybody. And, um, you know, Libra, you want people to treat you good. You're, you're so used to taking up for other people and um, things like that. But, um, you know, it's time to take care of Libra good. And you can afford to be the fool. You, you deserve to be the fool right now. So then um, what you are armed with, what is beneath you, what is in your power, what you have, what you can call your own is the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is about um, balance, decision, weighing options, choices, choices, choices of emotion, choices involving emotion. You see the water and the ship. Water has high tides, high waves. So that's emotion. And then the pinnacles representing um, material things, stability, um, earthly things. So if you're making decisions about material things, um, homes, um, different things you want to acquire materially, different um, places you want to go, different, um, you know, anything that has to do with material things, you know, you're weighing decisions. And I'm also going to throw in a, some emotion as well. Maybe your man weighing out decisions with people. What was just what direction you want to take your life? What what did direction does Libra want to go in? And what does Libra want to show the world? What does Libra want to show? Who does the Libra want to surround themselves with? So Libra, lots of choices and decisions this month. Lots of choices and, and um, decisions. And what you have in the world card and having a fool, you may find yourself very active this month and into a little bit of everything, which is good for you. We talked about the past, coming away from that devil energy, coming away from the bondage with the card in reverse, same thing, just to a lesser degree, which shows me, first of all, it's in your past. If there's any way you want the devil in this reading, is in your past, and then it's in reverse. So not only are you moving away from the energy, I think you're really taking a look at it. Like, it isn't just, oh, I made it through that, Whew, I'm moving on. No, it's like looking at it, like, well, why did I do those things, and, and, and what led me there, and what was my part in the whole thing, and what was this person's part? You know, I think you're really looking at that, especially with the Five of Cups facing the devil because you've been down about it for so long, and you've been dwelling on it in such a negative way for so long, it's starting to turn. And and how you know that the world is yours, Libra, is because it turns into the Six of Wands which is a victory card. This is a victory. Whatever happened, this person in this card, wherever they're traveling to, they are bringing good news. Um, they are full of their laurels. You know what I mean? They are, they are um, laurels up. They have like the halo on and the laurels on the wand. There's a crowd that's kind of like, you know, um, rooting for whatever this event is, whatever this person is. And it's so funny. I always look at the horse kind of looking back like, oh, can I get some of the action too? Or oh, don't get too proud of yourself. Don't ride me too hard. So, you know, Libra, as that comes, as these victories come throughout the month of June and throughout the rest of the year, just be mindful to be humble. Just be mindful. Um, there's always a time to go up and a time to come down. Life is an ebb and flow, you know, so just, just, um, just be humble and thankful. Be thankful for everything that you have now. And I'm talking about little things such as life, waking up, uh, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother. You know what I mean? Um, water to drink. Clean water to drink. Clothes to put on your back. You know, it is a time to be thankful for the small things because you have some big victories coming. And you don't want to get, um, you don't want to start smelling yourself and you don't, you want to remain humble. Because this is this is is it just as hard as it is to come up and as quick as it seems like it happens, the struggle falling right back down if you put out bad karma is gonna take just as long and it's gonna be just a struggle. Remember to stay humble and just, you know, like the horse. Remember the people that are there for you that supported you just through this and then just remember, um, just not to get too too high on yourself. Don't rest, like, what, what's the phrase, like, don't rest on your laurels or whatever the phrase is about your laurels. Yeah, you have some laurels, but there are more to be earned, and, um, you know, that, that's for the past. You can't, uh, a, a future success isn't measured by past victory. You know what I mean? Like, a victory was a victory was a victory. 
but you got to get that next victory to continue being victorious. So your merit isn't measured by all of the laws you, uh, you've accumulated because there are more things to gain. There are more things to do. Every day in, on this earth and in this life is another chance to get to it. Don't ever stop um, your accomplishments. Don't ever dull yourself down for anybody, Libra. Everything you want, you will be victorious in heaven. All right. So, make sure I got my cards right. All right. So, how you see yourself is the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a young energy, but it's a young energy that brings prosperity. It's a young energy that brings messages of joy and prosperity and stability. And, um, you know, it, it, he's a young, curious, wanders energy, but the Page of Pentacles just looks like he has a power to just make things grow and make things fruitful. And when he touches things, he brings sort of like a magic almost to it when I look at this beautiful Page of Pentacles card. So it's a card of work. You know what I mean? It's a card of work. And to me, it even comes off as, um, you know, the beginning stages of some, some hard work. Maybe you're at the beginning, you're, you're at an immature level of some really hard work. And when I say immature, no negative connotations on that at all. I'm just saying you're at the beginning stage of a lot of shit to come when it has to do with working hard to get where you want and to get what you want. And with the card being in reverse and how you see yourself, you may see yourself as working, like I'm, I'm a young person, I'm just like working, 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 but you know you have things to do. This globe, this this pinnacle is in his hand and a yellow on the back of the card just signify, you know, future successes, future, uh, future goal accomplishments, future stability, future, uh, future, future things to come and future results to see from the hard work. The page of pinnacles is learning. It's more of a learning. I don't get him so much as a doer, but he is learning what it takes as the page, as he delivers these messages and gets these messages and brings these messages of stability and brings these messages um, of things like this, messages, messages of hope. He's learning what it takes to become that knight of pentacles and that king of pentacles. So, you know, it's, it's not in vain. And although it may feel like you have a long way to go and you have a ways to go, it is not over. It is also time to sort of enjoy it. So um, that's how I feel like you see yourself, uh, Libra. So then getting on to the, and I'm just looking, so two high priestess, five, six. Okay, so I am going to look at the seven of swords next. Seven of swords next in your surroundings and how people see you or how people are looking at you, Libra. So it's a sword card, and it's a sword. It, there are two swords stuck in the ground, and the guy has five swords in his hands, and he looks like he just stole these swords. Like maybe there were some soldiers or something that were asleep, and he just stole these swords, and he's making off with like the five swords, and he's looking back, and it's almost like, um, you know, yeah, I got away with this. I got those five swords. They, don't, they have no clue. But with um, the Seven of Swords, just, just be mindful to, because he left two, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, it's, it's a card of being a, a little sneaky. So maybe you're going to find out some messages as far as communication. Maybe people think you're being uh, sneaky and you're not, uh, you know, there's something going on or there's some information you're holding and you're sneaking off with as you see these or you're, you're sneakily doing something regarding some information or something like that. That's how people see you. And that's not to say what it is because what's really funny is with the Seven of Swords card, I, I, I do not get a bad connotation with this card. It's almost like, and you see how he has on the hat, which is very um, resemblant to the Fez and then the red shoes. So I almost get that this person is doing this for a good reason. Like, that's just the connotation I get with the Seven of, of, of Swords. So that could be for some of you Libras. But for some of you Libras, if it's not um, for a righteous reason, or say like like he's taking these swords because he doesn't want those soldiers to be able to go into battle and kill people or hurt people. Like there's different 
reasons why we do different things. Sometimes we don't always play our cards straight up and narrow because we need to approach situations in a different way, which is completely understandable. And with Libra being a very mental sign and there being seven swords in this card, thought and planning went into this. You know what I'm saying? There is mental, this is not just done stupidly to get caught and to get find, found out. There was a plan that was made about these seven swords um, to get these five. And um, although the communications might not be forthcoming, there's a method to the madness. So people, you're in your surroundings and, and how people see you, it could be a little um, closed off with your thoughts, closed off with your communication, or sneaky with your communication. So that's what I get from your surroundings and how people see you, Libra. Whether it's a good or bad thing, I don't know. I mean, that's going to apply to all of you guys' individual situations. So then with the um, hopes and fears, I had the Ace of Wands card in reverse. So the next two cards are going to be in reverse. Your, your um, hopes and fears and your outcome. But your, the Ace of Wands <laughs> in reverse is so funny. I read this card for somebody the other day, and I was saying, you know, because of course, now the Ace card, the Wands Ace card specifically, specifically, the Wands Ace card specifically, as you can see, it's a phallic symbol. So this definitely represents um, fertility, could even be impregnation, um, having babies, getting pregnant, um, being fertile. It is the creation. It's the actual action. And it's from the divine. It's from the heavens. This was meant to be. It is for no one but you. It is appearing in front of your face, out of the blue, because it was brought to you by the heavens. Sorry, my dog's going crazy. Brought to you by the heavens. Oh, really? So, you know, with this card, that is what, I'm sorry, guys. That is what, it just flew out. It's trying to tell you, like, I'm here, your new beginning, your, 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 your ability to to create everything you thought you couldn't and to do everything you thought you couldn't you were having doubts or worries or troubles or you thought it was gone no it's here it's here but you got to realize it which is why this came in reverse but i tell you you know be careful if you don't want any, any unplanned pregnancies if you don't want any starts of that kind be careful because upright it looks like the phallic symbol but guys it's so funny when i was reading for somebody the other day and i said when this card is down, it really looks like <laughs> somebody's about to get to it. So, I, with it being in reverse, it could be an emphasis on that. And also, guys, um, it, like I said, it's the action of the new beginning. So, it's not the thought. It's not the communication. It's not the ace of swords. You know, it is not the emotional offering or the emotional beginning with the ace of cups. You know what I mean? And it isn't a, a, a material necessarily or earthly beginning or um, offering with the Ace of Pentacles. It is an action with the Ace of Wands. So not only is there going to be a new beginning presented or start pre presented, not only is that fertility and all of that creativity there, you know what I mean? It is actually, action is going to go into utilizing it and making it happen because Wands cards represent the actions. And with it being in reverse, and being in your hopes and fears, I feel you you fear losing those opportunities. You fear making a mess of a new start. You fear not being fertile. You fear not being creative and not seeing um, all the things that you want to create and that you want to do and that you want to be active um, that are presented to you. All those divine opportunities. You fear you won't see them and you won't, because you don't see them, you won't act on them. But Libra, please, please know, you know, always stay conscious. Always keep your eyes wide open. Come out of your mind a little bit and keep your eyes wide open because, trust me, the only difference between um, successful people and unsuccessful people is how they utilize the opportunity. It isn't always that they got an opportunity or the other didn't get an opportunity. It's how they utilize it because, trust me, everybody on this earth down to the to the bum on the street, the bum on the street, if you want to call them that, whatever you want to call them. But everybody down to what, you know, some people would consider the bum on the street has had opportunity. 
It's all about what you have done with it. There's no need to be a fear if you know that you are consciously in your mind recognizing what is there, what is pre presented. Pull some emotion in, into it to feel, to feel what's right for you from your heart sometimes and then um, go from there. So that's your hopes and fears. And honestly, that's not a bad card to have in a hopes and fears position. It's bad if you dwell on it and you believe you can't achieve. Because whatever your mind believes is what you will achieve. It, it all starts with that spark, with that spirit in the, in the mind. Pause for a second for me, uh, Libra. I think my lawn guy is here and I have to paint him. because she saw the gas guy was here. I mean, the long guy was here. So, I don't know where I left off, but that's what's going on with the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry I don't remember the very last thing I said, Libra. Which brings us to the um, possible outcome, or the likely outcome, which is the Ten of Cups. And so, for June, for this Ten of Cups, and it's so funny because the overall cup that you got, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups. It's so funny that it, that came out in reverse. For the outcome, I have to belch and it's not coming up. Sorry. It's so funny that it came up in reverse for the outcome because the Ten of Cups came up for your overall reading. So it's telling me if you if you really go into yourself on a spiritual level, on a heartfelt level, and you overcome the hurt, the pain, the bondage, the addictions the demons because as you see you are a swords card you have one swords card out of ten cards so please don't think I'm bullshit when I say just come out of your mind a little bit you're an air sign so it's never you're always gonna rely on your mental I'm just talking about balance life is balance so anyway if you can come over if you can overcome some of those things there's nothing in front of you but eternal happiness the, 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 the happily ever after card. So getting back to the outcome with the Nine of Cups being in reverse. So the Nine of Cups being in reverse. The Nine of Cups when it's upright, um, most tarot readers call it the wish card. It is the card, at the, I, I think the guy's gluttonous, to be honest. I think it's pretty gluttonous. But the Nine of Cups, the, the, it's an absolutely beautiful card. Who doesn't want a Nine of Cups in their reading? But I always see a downside with the Nine of Cups. And to me, when, when this guy, this guy on the Nine of Cups, he's sitting there, he's like, just like a fat cat sitting there. He has gotten, he has everything he wants. He is, emotionally, his cups are full. So emotionally, if your cups are full, emotions are, are sort of like a, a barometer for where you are in your life. Because if you're good emotionally, that usually means everything else in your life is going pretty good. But if you're not good emotionally, then shit may be sucking in your life. So with the temp, with the nine of cups being in reverse, it's kind of saying 
and I'm going to say this either two ways for two different Libras, so for, for the different Libras out there. So with the nine of cups being in reverse for the outcome, it's either saying you're coming down out of this cloud, out of this um, sort of smug kind of place where you could have been with the six of wands, where you could have been with the six of wands, just being smug, boastful, and things like that. You're kind of coming off of this high horse and just coming back down to reality and saying, okay, I'm, I'm seeing these happy moments. Things are happening. Things are changing for me. Um, but, and I don't want to get too above myself. Let me just pace myself. So that is one thing I'm getting from, from the nine of cups or another thing I'm getting from a nine of cups is, um, it's still this teeter totter. And I'm saying this because you had eight, the ace of wands in reverse. So if you stick with these thoughts of, I can't do, I can't create, um, the things I had, I'll never have again. It'll never be as good. It won't be as good because you'll have the nine of cups, which means, like I talked about before, you have everything, but you see nothing. You have everything you need to have more than you had before, but you see nothing. And and that's what that nine of cups, cups is telling me. Now, that's what it's telling me in that position. But what the overall energy of the reading is telling me is, Fuck that shit, because you're going to be happy by whatever means, Libra. And this is the hopes, the wishes, the dreams, the complete emotional fulfillment, the um, the pot of gold, the, tw the the million pots of gold at the end of the rainbow, the family, the house, the food. And, and I, I'm not, when I say it, I mean it literally, but I'm talking about, I'm trying to paint a picture of, of, of a very fundamental basic level of what ideally makes humans happy. So when I say um, the one man, the woman, the family, the kids, the fertility in the ground, anything they want to grow, they can grow. They've got a house back there. They've got a river to drink cl clean water from. And um, all the emotional happiness um, that could ever be provided. So they have everything they, they need to be happy on every level within the tarot. And, and that's what I mean. And in whatever that is for you. And I'm, I'm not saying for every Libra that is these elements of kids, family, like, no, I'm not saying it. I'm just painting a picture so that you understand what ideally makes people fulfilled and emotionally happy. And, and if you realize, like, even when you hear stories about millionaires or things like this and that, people say, well, what's the point of having it? everything if you don't have anybody to share it with? So Libra, even if some of the things that you want aren't these things, this is representing whatever it is, whether it's a high, it, whatever is going to make you be fulfilled emotionally, whether that was reaching a high, whatever is most important to you emotionally is what this card that represents the overall reading means. Whatever is important to you emotionally the most is right there within your glass, grasp, within your clutches, within your reach, right in your lap. So, and if that's on a career front, if that is, um, you know, family, it does not have to, it's, um, it's, 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 it's a general reading just to give you a general perspective so you get the overall idea of what I mean, okay? Everything can't be so literal, guys. I know for my air signs, you might want it super, super literal. Not today. Alrighty, so Libra, let's move on to the, the um, heart. Oracle cards. The Psychic Tarot for the Heart cards. Let's do that. Alrighty. So, oh, forgot to mention June 4, New Moon Libra. So take your intentions, what you really want, the things you want to work on, culminate, do, manifest, grow, new beginnings, and bring it to action. Take those things, really put them in the forefront of your mind. Look up new moon rituals that you can do just to um, see those things, um, to give those things energy to make them happen in your life. And uh, on the, let me see, I've got it written down. I don't ever put tarot cards in different decks. Sorry guys, I've been like... On charts, on charts, on charts, on charts. 
So, okay. So that was the fourth. There's a new moon in Gemini, your fellow air sign. So I think it's going to be really, really good energy for you. So that's going to be at 11 p.m., 14 degrees in Gemini. And then I have all these planetary positions, but I'm, I'm a beginner with the astrology. Don't have time to go through every single one. I want to keep the video short, so I'm just going to talk about like the really the ones that are really important that I see. Um, and then, let me see, the full moon is on the 29th in Sagittarius at 7.02 a.m. So, and that's on the 20th. And then on the same day, the sun goes into my sign, the best sign doing it, uh, Cancer, at 6.34 p.m. So you're going to have a full moon on the 20th and um, the sun in Cancer on the 20th. So, guys, on the 20th, it's supercharged energy. So that just means to me. Whatever you're really pursuing and doing is going to have an extra charge behind it with full moon. So I was telling Virgo in their video, if you go out and you get too crazy in a negative way or just in a, in a, in a footloose way, you could have, you could be, end up dealing with either some physically harmful situations or your ass could be locked up or something, you know what I mean? Uh, Sagittarius, if I'm not incorrect, is ruled by Saturn, the planet of all the time rules, karma, structure. You know what I mean? Sagittarius, very wise sign, um, very um, very smart sign. I find that I really like Sagittarius. I don't know a lot of guys, but I've had quite a few female uh, Sagittarius friends over the year, years. And Sagittarius, my humor comes from a very cynical, intellectual place where you just kind of have to be able to read between the lines to get my humor. You got to know a little something about life to get it. And Sagittarius is always get it. And I know this because they're freaking ruled by Saturn and they're so smart. Like I used to always say about my Sagittarius friend that I've, that I've known for like double digit years and, and she's a work friend, but we like follow each other to every job and we're always cool. We don't talk for years and it's all good. And we just have a ball when we get together. And I, 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 ne I never understood and I never looked into the astrology of why me and this friggin' Sagittarius and the same thing happened with another Sagittarius is get along so good and hey, they get my jokes so good. Most people do, but like Sagittarius really gets them. Sagittarius, Gemini is another sign that really, really gets my jokes because they're mental. They're mental, you know. So I just think like, why does she just get it? Like I don't even have to say nothing and she mentally gets it. And it's because she's freaking ruled by Saturn. It's a sign of wisdom. So <laughs> you know, takes one to keep up. So, you know, um, it, with that being, with that full moon being in Sagittarius, point being, you want to be grounded with the energies. You really want to focus on some of these plans, some of these things, some of these goals we were talking about. Give your energy to that. To that. If you're doing career stuff, um, entrepreneurial stuff, relationship stuff, you know what I mean? It's good to do, do your positive stuff on the 20th. 20, 20. Um, especially with the happening in, in Sagittarius. And I wouldn't say to really go out and start doing like a whole bunch of crazy stuff with the full moon because there's a lot of energy, it's supercharged, and it can go in a negative or a positive direction. Whichever way you steer the ship is um, the direction it's going to go in anywhere. All right. So I hope I don't have to edit this video too much. You guys might just get that pause in the video. All right. So for Libra, I'm not going to go too hard on these cards. Hmm, I just saw a card. I just saw a card. So not going to take it out. If it comes out, you know, I'll just let it be. So Libra, not going to go too hard on these with a shuffle. I shuffle them a few times every time after I, uh, every time after I do a reading. Just so when I do the next one, I know that they've um, been shuffled. First card is heal. I love these cards. I love these cards. They they have they so they're so on point. The the psychic tarot for the heart cards by John Holland. So these are really really. I mean seriously, they're seriously good cards. Second card is dedicated effort. With this, this is three card reading, guys. Fourth card over our energy from the bottom of the deck, past, present, future, or whatever, however they come out in the reading. It's, it's what it's going to be. And then your last card is the crown chakra. The crown chakra. And then from the bottom of the deck, we have joy and stability. So, Libra, 
you guys are just like the ish in June. And I think I think that's going to be the case for the rest of the year. You're taking charge, making decisions from righteous places, and doing what's best for Libra. You know what I mean? And at the same time, considering the people that you really care about. So, um, with the card that came out in the past position, and these heart oracle cards, they are purple for spirit. You have your chakra cards. You have your major arcana in the black, your action cards in the red, your mental cards in the indigo, and your emotional cards in the green. So, you have chakra, the major arcana ones, you have spiritual, and you have action. You have action. So, I didn't even get a lot of that was mental for you, um, Libra, other than the crown chakra. So... So it's time to utilize your other senses and your other capabilities um, along with, with the mental action. So coming from the past with the heel, the number 17, um, 7 and 1 is 8. You know, 8 is a number where you are getting to stability, another stable number. 8 is another stable number building blocks to get to the finish point. The 9 where you're just rounding out, finish out, rounding off all the rough edges in the 10 when you're closing the chapter. So you are at a place of healing, Libra, and that means that chapter is ready to be closed. I mean, you got like a few more baby steps to break the chains of those bondages we were talking about, of those hurts, of those um, pains, you know, and it's done through healing. And that's physical, it's mental, it's spiritual, and it's emotional. So whatever it is for you, whether it's Reiki, meditation, um, Tai Chi, um, you know, consulting a uh, psychic or a tarot reader or, or an advice um, line or something like that. Whatever it is that you do to heal, you know, or a counselor or a psychiatrist, you know, talking to somebody about the deep-rooted hurts and pains um, are a process of the healing. I mean, uh, most of the times we can't do it on our own. That's why I do the work that I do um, because... Not everybody is going to go sit in a counselor's office or, or something like that. Not everybody believes in a psychic. But whatever tools that um, I can give as a tarot reader and as an, um, you know, an, an advice, like as a counselor, is to help you better yourself. You know what I mean? So when you talk to people, when you seek people like us out, you know, you never know the healing that can come from, from that. And that could be as simple as talking to your family members, sharing things with family members and friends they didn't know about you, just opening up um, Libra. So it's really time to heal. You are healing, and it's, it's something that's been going on for a minute. With that being a major arcana card, with all this energy that's under this man and these heavy, heavy chains being broken, this is this is bondage that, 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 that's been going on for some time. That's why this is such a powerful month, and I have a feeling powerful year is to come for you, Libra, because it, you really see it's a turning point where the action is happening because in the present you got the number eight i just talked about stability you have sevens and eights you have the chakra crown card and then you have a four which is a multiple of the eight and the joy and stability stability in your spiritual card so in the dedicated effort card it is in the action card and it's in the present i'm not going to talk for years about these cards guys i could i can go into a lot a lot of things but i've got to limit these um youtube readings um, at least so I can get you all you guys done um, for June before we get like through June. So with dedicated effort, that's all it's going to take to make all the things I just talked about in your self cross readings happen. And I know Libras have the wherewithal and the mental, the mental um, endurance to make a dedicated effort in whatever it is that you want to be successful in Libra. Um, your and, and the seven card represents future outcomes and it's the crown chakra. Do you see how beautiful it is with the pink? And I think it's a reworking of your mental. Cause, because when you start to heal from the inside out, you put in a dedicated effort to make your life what you want to see. So you can be that beautiful, shining, um, flashy, regal Libra that you are. It's going to change your thought process. It is going to change your thought process and the auras and the energies that you give off to the world and to the universe. Libras, you like to be happy and have fun and just be at peace. Your thoughts have to be there too for your body and the rest of your, um, you know, your spirit, your emotions and everything have to be in a place of, of happiness. So, um, 
So it's going to change some thinking in your mind, and I really think it's going to shed a new light on how you think about things to yourself, the world around you, and your situations. And it's going to be in a more positive way because you're going to have that healing. You're going to have that deep-rooted healing. And it's not all going to happen in June. I, 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 this reading, I'm calling it June, guys, but my readings transcend time. This energy might pop up for you in a few months. You know, just come back, watch, and, and say, oh, she said that. So four is uh, joy and stability, which I have no doubts about. It only makes sense. Everything that we've been talking about in these readings is work for the lever from inside out to get to a place of joy and stability. Um, this is the number four card, and it's a spiritual card. So this is not necessarily a mon monetary. It's not going to come through money. You know what I mean? And we all, we all got to make this money because... Libra, you, like everybody else, wants what you want on a um, material level. But the real happiness, the real happiness, the real happiness to where you can, like, let things blow off your shoulder. You know, people who are negative try to start fights and arguments and just when bad things happen and we go through the trials and tribulations of life, real joy and happiness comes from finding a spiritual center and having healing for the past hurts that we've been through um, from a spiritual place, and then remaining, put it in that dedica dedicated effort to change and ground yourself self spiritually to be on your square, to be on your freaking square, to be on your effing square, Libra, the square, the freaking square. When you're on your square, can nothing mess with you, and and it's going to take the dedicated effort to get on your square. And that's having everything in line, in the square, on the square, and it's going to all lead to that Ten of Cups card, that joy and stability. But it's up to you, Libra. I, I can say it in a tarot reading, but, and this is for every sign. We can say it, but the action and the free will is all up to the viewers. It is all up to you guys. But in any event, I wish nothing but the best. Love you guys. Um, come check me out in the middle of the month. I'm going to try to do um, love readings. So I'm going to try to come back. I want to get all of you guys done for June by the end of this week. And then I'll come back mid-month, so maybe around the 15th, and do a full love reading. So these were good cards to give you like a mini love reading. But this isn't, this isn't romantic love. The focus of this mini, mini love reading was these cards are not romantic love. It is love between um, romantic partners and family. So these cards represent anybody that you have an emotional bond um, with or that you have love for or there's love involved in that situation. So they aren't all romance cards. But I like, I'm going to, as soon as I can find the cards, I've been looking for the romance oracle deck, I believe it is. I've seen a few readers that had that really um, kind of sexual magic. I know there's a tarot of sexual magic, I believe. Like there's some really kind of adult, risque tarot readings, and I believe those should straight be for, um, love reading because they, they they talk strictly about partnerships and love partnerships and some other things may come up in the cards the the reading and the intuition is, is is up to the reader for what they pull to the cards because cards can have many meanings and um very rarely do i watch a tarot reader's video and say oh well how they read that card is wrong no how they read it might be wrong for me but unless they're just like a total fake or phony i i can't say anybody's interpretation of the card is wrong but unless you you know straight up okay that she don't know something about that's wrong so you know i would like those cards to do any love reading so i'll come back mid-month guys and try to do those i may have to order the cards i haven't been able to find them in the store i believe they're by doreen virtue so i'm gonna find out which deck those are and i will be back love you guys thanks for watching and um you know check back soon uh best wishes to